Okay. Let's check, let's check. Hello, hello, welcome. Good evening, do you hear me nice and clear? Yes. Hello, hello, yes. good evening. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> it's nice to have you one more time. This beautiful day, as you may know, we will continue learning English. Um, and we are going to have our class number six today. So thank you so much for being here. Um, let me show you what's today's class. Uh, give me a minute, please. Yeah, here we go. Thank you so much. Good evening. It's nice to have you one more time. We are going to work with section number three. What's your neighborhood like? Uh, we're going to work with there is, there are, uh, one, any, and some. This is pre-intermediate module number two, and this is class number six. So welcome, everybody. It's nice to have you on this beautiful day, which is Tuesday, October 3rd, 2023. Okay. So what's your neighborhood like? That is the title of this section number three. Uh, Janessi Alexandra, do you understand the title of this section? Good evening. Welcome. Uh, good evening. Yes, I understand. Oh, what's your neighborhood like? Um, it's, uh, I have a park in front of my house. Oh, okay. I don't know, uh, there is a car wash to two or three houses of mine. Okay. And, uh, well, it's, there is a lot of trees. Um, okay. That. Thank you. Where is that, by the way? Uh, I live in Quesaltepeque. Oh, Quesaltepeque. Is that located in San Salvador, Santa Ana? La Libertad. Oh, La Libertad. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. So, yeah, we're going to work with section number three. What's your neighborhood like? That's the one. Okay, Briseida. Thank you so much for letting me know. Good evening. It's nice to have you. Priscilla and everybody. Okay, we're going to start with, first of all, we have this thing. What is this thing, Freddie, that you see here in this picture? What is the name of this? Um, uh, Low Street, Union Drive, Park Avenue, Low, Louis Lane. Okay, very good. Thank you. Can you tell me the places that you see here, please? Freddy, tell me, please, the places that you see here in this picture. I see the um, uh, Corby Gym, Post Office, National Bank, Mega Ritchie Hotel, Budget Drugstore, Wash and Go Dromat. Cuba Cafe, Majestic Movie Theater, Smith's Groceries, Luigi's Restaurant, Phil Gas Station. Okay. What is a public library, Freddy? Public. What is that? Uh, uh, la biblioteca. Yes. What is that? Uh, uh, it's a place... Uh, When when we go uh, to read to read uh, books, okay, it's a place where we go uh, well, to to read books. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you so much. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Good. Okay. Uh, Claudia, what is the name of this place here? Claudia Flores. Good evening. Thank you. Good evening. Um. Is this maybe the Central Park? Oh, Central Park. Okay. Thank you. Can you tell me the vocabulary that you see here in this park? Uh, 
um, there are some trees. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a fountain. Okay, a fountain. Um, there's some <coughs> benches. Benches, okay. Benches, okay. There, there, there are some benches. And there is a fence of or fancy. A fence, very good. Um, uh, some plants or grass. Exactly, very and good. And there are some paths. Okay, thank you so much. Very good. What are the activities that you can do in a park, Claudia? Uh, we can go there to go and make jogging, yoga, or okay. some exercise. We can go there and just to appreciate the nature or listening to music, read a book, and go with the family. Do you like do you like going to parks, Claudia? Yes, I do. Uh, how often do you do that? Um, not, not often. Oh, okay, so what what kind of parts do you visit? Um, here in my neighbor, in my neighborhood, uh, there are some parks. Sometimes I go with my son, oh, and uh, rarely I. I go to the park that, that is located next to Multiplaza. Oh, okay. Uh, Los Pericos, I guess is the name. Yeah, I guess that's the name, Los Periquitos, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Perfect. Just that. Thank you so much, very good. You're welcome. Um, perfect, thank you. Ana, Cristina, Peña, hello, good evening, how are you? Hello. Nice to have you. Uh, Hello, what is What is a movie theater? What is a movie theater? Yes. No, 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 no. Uh -huh. But do you know what is a movie theater? Um, movie theater, uh, pero en el mapa no, no está. Oh, yes, it's there. It's next to Cuba Cafe. It's next to Cuba Cafe. Oh. It is on Love Street. Este, es, no, no lo veo. Okay, but, but do you know what is a movie theater? What is a movie theater? Um, what is the definition of a movie theater? Okay, este, si es cine. Oh, mm -hmm. yes, but that's in Spanish, right? But I'm talking about, oh, I mean, what can we do in a movie theater? <laughs> like, it is a place where... Play. It is a place mm -hmm. where... Uh, see, play. Oh, yeah. Play in the movie theater. It is a place, a place, a location, right? Uh, okay, uh, and what is a drugstore, Ana Cristina? Okay. What is a drugstore? Drugstore, um, many medicine. Oh, it is a place, it is a place where, where you buy medicine, right? It is a place where you buy medicine. Yes, so with the movie theater, Anna, it is a place where you watch 
plays, uh, movies. que también son, quiere decir o, o, obra, obra de teatro. Uh, no, porque ese es un theater. Y aquí estamos hablando de movie theater. ¿Yes? <coughs> ok, entonces, Ana, cuando decimos un movie theater, estamos hablando de películas, ¿vale? Es un movie theater. Ahora, si yo solo digo theater, ahí sí es different. ¿Yes? Right. Ahora, si yo solo digo theater, es un, ah, es un place where you can go and you can watch plays. Ahí sí es un teatro, right? Because it's just a theater. Just a theater. Ahora, si yo digo antes la palabra movie theater, I'm talking about movies. So the plays is a, um, es un cine, right? De películas. Sí. Exact, exact. Very good. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. okay. Uh, so, what is the name of this picture here? What is the name of this picture, Maria Vilma Cortez Rivas? Good evening. Thank you. How are you? Santos. Hello, Santos. Good evening. Welcome. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, teacher. What is the name of this picture? What is the name of this picture? Do you remember Dora the Explorer? Yes. No uh -huh. lo encuentro. Oh, okay. Do you remember Dora the Explorer? Cuando Dora iba a encontrar, right, uh, un lugar, a quien le pedía ayuda. Yes. Sí. Excuse me. <laughs> ¿Dónde está? Ay, lo siento. Exactly, exactly. Pero siempre se apoyaba de algo, right, que le daba una ruta. What is that? Y hasta tenía una canción. The maps. The oh, maps. Exactly. The map. So this is the map. Right. Dora it? decía, oh, ladder. Map. Y decía, know. I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm... Yeah. That's the way they used to sing. So this is a map. This is a map about what, Marcos Alberto Palacios? What is this map about? Mm -hmm. This map here. What is this map about? Eh, me están preguntando, ¿sí? No, I'm to Marcos. I'm sorry. I'm with Marcos now. Okay. Marcos? That's okay. Thank you. Very good. What is this map about? Is this map about the jungle? Is this map about the forest? Is the this... neighborhood... Oh, it is about a neighborhood, right? Yes, about a neighborhood. Like here in El Salvador, neighborhood are quite different like in the U.S. In the U.S., they have a big neighborhood, but here in El Salvador, we don't have a big one, right? So uh, what are the places, Marcos? Well, what are the buildings or let's say the stores that you can find in your neighborhood, Marcos? Like in your neighborhood, is there is there a restaurant in your neighborhood, Marcos? Is there a gas station in your neighborhood, Marcos? Okay, what else is in your neighborhood? ¿Qué más está in your neighborhood? Okay, thank you so much. Oh, very good. Yeah, so we have we have some places, right? We have some places in our neighborhood. Uh, and as I told you before, in some places, yes, we have a lot of these areas, right? Jorge Mauricio Gutierrez. What are the places that you can tell us that you have in your neighborhood, Jorge Mauricio? Uh, the Louis Restaurant, Smith Grocery, Majestic Movie Theater, I mean, are are these places in your neighborhood? No. Oh, okay, but what is something that we can find in your neighborhood? In my in my neighborhood. Yes. Ah, okay. Um, the school. 
A school. Okay, what else? Dr drugstore. A drugstore? Uh, post office. A post office, very good. Gym. Oh, very good, yes. Um, solo eso, creo. Okay, thank you so much, very good. So, uh, we're going to work with the following video, I want you to watch the video, take a look, and take notes as well. Let's listen and watch. Hi everyone, welcome back to another session. This time we'll learn to ask if there is or not a particular place in town. We'll go over prepositions of place which will help us give directions. In this session, participants will learn how to ask and answer questions with there is, there are, one, any, and some. There is, there are, one, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? I don't listen, yes, teacher. Yes, there is. There's one Thank you so much. Okay, let me redo it. I listen perfect, teacher. Oh, yes, thank Me too, teacher. Center. Perfect. Uh, yes, ya lo revisé, and that's probably your internet connection. That is not... No, there isn't, but there's oh, one next to the line. So I'm going to play one more time here. There is, there are. Yes. One, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't. But there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't. But there are some on 3rd Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Prepositions On Next to Near, close to, across from, opposite, in front of, in back of, behind, between, on the corner of. If you want to know if there is a place near you, we do it by saying, is there a near here? Of course, the answer will depend on if there is or not. You may answer yes there is, or no there isn't. If your answer is yes there is, you may continue by saying yes there is. There is one next to the gas station. Prepositions of place. Let's go over the prepositions by looking at the map. The post office is on Main Street. The gas station is next to the public library. The shopping center is close or near the public library. The telephone booth is across from the gas station. The plaza is in front of the post office. The electronics store is behind or at the back of the post office. The plaza is between First National Bank and the grocery store. The gas station is on the corner of First Avenue. Make sure you practice and understand each preposition of place. So we're going to work with prepositions, as you may see, and also to communicate what are the things that we have around our neighborhood. We're going to use is there or are there when we have a question. And to answer, we can say there is, there are, if that is positive, or there isn't or there aren't, okay? Cuando tenemos there aren't, podemos utilizar any, there aren't, there aren't any around here. Cuando tenemos, for example, affirmative, podemos utilizar with plural, some, y también con negative, we can use some, okay? Pero depende del context, right? Por ejemplo, aquí comienzo, no, there aren't, pero luego cambio la sentence a affirmative, y digo, Oh, but there are some on Third Avenue. 
Ok. Entonces al final esta me queda affirmative. Esta es affirmative. Even though esta comienza con negative. Pero luego utilizo but there are some other avenue. Any lo vamos a ocupar normalmente with negatives. Cuando es plural. There aren't any around here. Ok. Also, sometimes we can use it uh, like with one or one. Okay, so yes, there is there is one across. Um, no, there isn't, but there is one. So este one voy con affirmative statements, affirmative phrases, right? And be careful, it says don't use contractions in the short answer with yes. For example, is there a hotel near here? Yes. There is. Use son in affirmative statements and any with negative statements. Lo que les comentaba, right? Aquí tenemos son con estas dos que son affirmative statements and any goes with negative statements. Like, there are some grocery stores in my neighborhood, but there aren't any restaurants. Luego tenemos any in most of the questions. Are there any nice stores around here? Cuando hagamos una pregunta, podemos utilizar any, yes, tanto para is there any or are there any. ¿Ya? Yeah. Any podemos utilizarlo con questions y también con negative statements. ¿Ok? Right. En son lo vamos a ocupar just with affirmative statements. Tenemos algunas prepositions of place that we can use in on, next to, near, or close to, across from, opposite, in front of, in back of, behind, between, on the corner of. So these are the prepositions that we can use. These are the basic ones. Tenemos a lot of them. Tenemos un montón. Yes, un montón de prepositions. But these ones are the basic ones, the ones that we use the most. When it comes to giving, like, where is um, something or if there is something in, in, in your neighborhood, right? Uh, do you have a question about this? Yeah. Do you have a question about this? No questions? Not the chat. Oh, okay. You sure? You sure? No questions? Cindy, Milena, Evers, teacher? Jacqueline? No uh -huh. question, teacher. Uh, what means uh, close to in that case? Oh, close is quite the same, near. You know what is the meaning of near? Yeah. So it's quite the same. Mm -hmm. It's quite the same. Also, a cross run is like opposite. It's quite the same. So it means the same minute. Yep. So you can use both of them to communicate the same minute. Yes. Also in back, if you notice here, and behind, in back of, of, of. Yes, pronunciation of here. And behind, behind, this one is means the same. Yes. So we can say um both of them and that will be good. Okay if we want to communicate the same stuff, okay? Okay. Oh, there is one thing okay. that I would like to mention here. Tenemos las questions, is there and are there? Yes. Are there any grocery stores around here? Aquí puedo utilizar any with questions, como dice aquí la instruction. And, and, lo utilizamos en este contexto para to talk about places. Laundromat, grocery stores, library. What other places do you know from your neighborhood? Uh huh. What other places do you know from your neighborhood? Marcos, thank you. Uh huh. Like in your neighborhood, what are the places that we can find in your neighborhood, Marcos? I think I think your mic. I don't I don't hear you, Marcos. I don't know why. Probably that's me. Probably that's me. Okay, so hospital. I'm sorry. 
a hospital, right? Yeah, sometimes we can find a hospital. What else? Mm -hmm. What other places we can find in your neighborhood? For example, in these city halls. Uh, a city hall. What is a city hall, Freddy? Uh, hello? What is a city hall? City hall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jo Jocelyn, what is a city hall? Mm -hmm. Jocelyn, what is a city hall? Jacqueline, what is a city what is a city hall? I don't really know. City hall. Yes. In some towns, we find these places where we can have a church. There is a plaza in the middle. There is a school. And also there is a city hall. Yeah, the city hall is there as well. Okay, so here in most of the towns, I mean, I think all towns, we have find these places. Okay, Claudia, what is a city hall? Um, the offices of the, uh, the La Alcaldía. Exactly, very good. So a city hall is La Alcaldía, right? Okay. In some towns, in algunos pueblos, usted va a encontrar esa característica, right? Tenemos city hall, a church, a plaza in the middle, and there is a school, yeah. En algunos pueblitos, no sé si han notado eso, right? Siempre hay un, una plaza in the middle, one school, one church, and there is a the city hall right there, okay? So we're going to work with these places um, around here. Now let's listen, pronunciation, listen and practice. Page 51, exercise 3, grammar focus. There is, there are, one, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't, but there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't, but there are some on 3rd Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Prepositions In On Next to Near Close to Across from Opposite, in front of, in back of, behind, between, on the corner of. Thank you. I'm going to tell you the attendance. So please, when you hear your beautiful name, say present or I'm here. Yep. Thank you so much. Give me a minute. Oh, Okay. Okay, okay. Here we go. Okay. Eh, Ana Cristina Peña de Paz. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening. Nice to have you. Blanca Isolina Guzman Cruz. I'm here. Wonderful. Nice to have you. Briseida Janet Garcia de Crespin. You wrote in the chat, right, Briseida? Thank you so much. Good evening. Cindy Stephanie Ramirez Rodriguez. Present teacher. Nice to have you. Good evening. Claudia Yesenia Flores de Galdames. I'm here. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Daniela Mercedes Olivares Recinos. Daniela Mercedes Olivares Recinos. No, she isn't. Okay, let's carry on with Evers Ernesto Perdomo Alvarez. Present teacher. Nice to have you, Evers. Edith Carolina Rivera de Segundo. I hear 
Thank you so much. Welcome, Edwin Benjamin Sanchez Portillo. Edwin Benjamin Sanchez Portillo. No, he isn't. Elisa Maria Garcia de Ruiz. Elisa Maria Garcia de Ruiz. No, she isn't. Freddy Alberto Paz Carrillo. In the chat is Elisa Matia. Thank you, Freddy. Okay. Thank you so much. Ya voy a revisar el chat cuando termine la asistencia. Okay. Para corregir esos. Thank you so much. Iliana María Alvarado Menjibar. Iliana María Alvarado Menjibar. No, she isn't. Eh, Janessi Alexandra López Portillo. Present. Good evening. Nice to have you. Jacqueline Vanessa Rodríguez Sánchez. Present teacher. Thank you and welcome. Eh, Janie Lisette Escobar Lucero. Janie Lisette Escobar Lucero. No, she isn't. Uh, Jorge Mauricio Gutierrez Alfaro. Present teacher. Nice to have you. Good evening. Jose Alcides Leiva Ibarra. Jose Alcides Leiva Ibarra. No, he isn't. Jocelyn Tatiana Moreno Mercado. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful. Nice to have you. Juan Jose Garcia Méndez. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Liliana del Tránsito Aguilar Juárez. Liliana del Tránsito Aguilar Juárez. No, she isn't. Marcos Alberto Palacios Herrera. Good evening, thank, my president. Thank you so much. Welcome. Maria Vilma Cortez Rivas. Maria Vilma. Teacher, Vilma. perdone. Eh, creo que no. Tenía problemas con mi micrófono. No, oh. Creo que no me escuchó cuando pasó el lista. Oh, what's your name? Soy Liliana. Ok, Liliana. Give Liliana del Tránsito. Oh, thank you so much. I got you. Ya le tomé ahí. Very good. Thank you. Eh, Maria Vilma Cortez Rivas. Thank you so much. Very good. Thank you so much. Um, Milena de Los Angeles, Aragón, Pleites. Milena de Los Angeles, Aragón, Pleites. No, she isn't. Ronald Rafael Cruz Amaya. Ronald, Present teacher. Thank you so much, Ronald. Good evening. Welcome. Sandra Noemi Pimentel Álvarez. Sandra Noemi Pimentel Álvarez. No, she isn't. Eh, Tiffany Guadalupe Martínez. Present. Thank you. Santos Guadalupe Ruiz Ventura. Present teacher. Thank you so much. I'm sorry I missed your name. Uh, Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa Cortez. Present teacher. Thank you. And uh, Jenny Marisol Hernández de Guevara. Jenny Marisol Hernández de Guevara. No, she isn't. Okay. Thank you. Voy a revisar el chat así rapidito. Let me see. Briseida, very good. Marcos. Okay, Marcos. Thank you so much for letting me know. Oh, let me check. Yes, aquí está ya. Very good. Let me see somebody else. Ah, Jenny Marisol. Okay, Jenny. Thank you so much. Okay, okay. Jenny, very good. Let me see who else. Uh, Liliana, very good. Elisa Maria Garcia. Okay, Elisa. Just give me a minute. Elisa, okay. Thank you. Um, let me see who else. Uh, well, and Jenny Marisol. Okay. Very good. So um, let's continue working on this one. Let me see. Okay, thank you. Jesus Christ, here we go. Okay, we're gonna have uh, the practice. A little Page. This one, complete the conversation. Uh, choose the correct words from the box. Okay, let's begin with you, Ana Cristina. Letter A, tell me, is or are there any supermarkets in this neighborhood? What is the correct one? Is or are? Are. 
R. Thank you, Ana. Continue, Ana Cristina. Peña de Paz, letter B. Uh, no, there are. Okay, continue. Uh, uh, is. Oh, excuse me, one or some? Oh, okay. Um, some. Are you sure? Some. Very good, thank you. Maria Vilma Cortez, continue, please. And E. Continue. Is there a post office near here? Okay, continue, Maria Vilma. Yes. Yes, there is the bank. Beautiful, that is correct. Very good. So, very good. We'll finish that one, right? Uh, let me see. Elisa Maria. Elisa Maria Garcia. Thank you. Hello, hello. Good evening, Elisa. No, okay. Ronald. Ronald Rafael Cruz. Thank you, sir. Nice to have you. Good evening. Please, letter A. A, B. Oh, no, letter A here. A, 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 A. Number two? Is letter A. A. Is or R? Is. <laughs> okay, continue, please. Yes, letter B. There is. Yes, there is. Okay, there's or there is? There is. There is. Okay, very good. Thank there's. you so much. Very good. Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa. Continue, Jenny. Letter A. Great. And here, I'm sorry, and are there a uh, or any? Jenny Lisbeth? Uh a coffee? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Any? Mm. Okay. What about letter B, Jenny? Yes, there is a good one son in the shopping center. Son? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. <laughs> yeah, the correct answer is one. Okay. Okay. Sí. ¿Por qué está incorrecto en esos dos que seleccionó? Bueno, en el primero. Yes. Por ejemplo, dice, and are there. Esta palabra que está aquí es singular. Entonces, el verbo aquí es singular o plural, Jenny? Plural. Exactly, very good. Como esta palabra es singular, no va con esta. Ok. Entonces, no. yo me voy a la otra opción que es any. Ok. Y luego también, mire, esta palabra está plural, porque esta palabra va con esta. Entonces, plural, plural, plural. Yes. Y luego en la letter B decimos, yes, there's. Aquí como ya me va dando la pauta, mire, ¿esta palabra es singular o plural? Jenny. Eh, singular. Very good. Entonces, esta palabra que está acá, son, sí, lo ocupamos es... para plural. Plural. Ok. Y esta palabra one es singular. Entonces, vamos, singular, 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 shopping center, singular as well. Okay. Okay. Very good, Jenny. Great job. Okay. Mm -hmm. Edith Carolina Rivera. I hear teacher. Thank you. Usted va a ser en el number one. Usted va a ser el letter A. Okay. Okay. Tiffany Guadalupe. Tiffany Guadalupe. Yes, sorry, teacher. En el en el number one usted va a ser el letter B. Yes. Letter B. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Let's begin. Okay. Are there any supermarkets in this neighborhood? Uh, no, there, there isn't. And there is. Uh... I'm sorry. That is incorrect. Tiene que leerlo según como subrayamos. Okay. <laughs> yes, sorry. Okay, that's okay. One more time, please. And uh, no, there 
There aren't, but there are some uh, main streets. And is there a post office near here? Yes, there is. It's across from the bank. The bank. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Very good. Edwin Benjamin. Edwin Benjamin. No? Okay. Blanca y Solina Guzmán. Sí. Blanca, en la conversation number two, usted va a hacer letter A. Okay. Okay. Liliana. Sí, teacher. Conversation number two, you are letter B. Ready? Let's begin. Is there a gas station around here? Yes, there's one veinte shopping center. Great. Uh, are there any coffee shops nearby? Yes, there are good one in the shopping center. Very good. Thank you so much. Just this one is behind. Behind. Okay. Very good. Any question about this exercise? Any question about this exercise? Everything is good? Okay, dokie. Let's carry on. Let me show you another one. Okay. Here we go. We have this, um, let's say, um, map here, if you see. Ayúdeme with the vocabulary, Jorge. Léame el vocabulary, please. No sé si lo ve bien. Here on the top, tenemos vocabulary. Yes? Okay. Look at the map bell, below. Below? Below, okay. Write questions about this place. An ATM, coffee shops, a department store, an electric, electronic store, Wi-Fi hotspot, a post office, hotels, a gym, Grocery stores, gas stations. Very good. Continue with the example, please. Thank you, Jorge. Is there a gym around here? Are there any restaurants on Main Street? Very good. Yeah. Continue with the rest of the vocabulary that we have here in this picture. Public library. Public, public library. Gas station, Fierce Avenue shopping center, post office, electronics, gyms, gym, are these department store, A Mars grocery store, really? Yes. yes. Okay. Fierce National Bank. Mom and Pop's Grocery. Very good. Walker uh, Drugstore. Mm -hmm. Steep Shoes. Steps. Steps Shoes. Star Plaza Hotel. Very good. Nancy's Restaurant. Perfect. Bean, Beanos. Beanos de verdad. Uh, Bings. Bings. Bings Coffee. Café. Cafe. Mm -hmm. Clifford Hotel. 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 Very good. What about the streets names, please? Pierce Avenue. First. 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 Suena como una first. First. Okay. First Avenue. Very good. My Street. Main. Main Street. Very good. Pine Street. Pine. Pine Street. Very good. Second Avenue. Very good. Maple Avenue. Maple. Maple. Very good. Elm Street. Very good. Okay. Thank you so much. So, 
here we have the um the streets right if you know here we have the vocabulary what are you going to do is you are going to make questions like these ones here cuántas tenemos here tenemos one is there a gene around here entonces ya tengo el del gene right are there any restaurants on main street tengo el de restaurants what is restaurants Oh, ok. Entonces, usted va a hacer una cuestión por cada uno de los que queda. Yes. Le voy a dar five minutes or seven minutes to do that. Y le voy a pedir participation on this one. Ok. Yes. Right. We're going to try to see where, um, how to make questions. This is about identifying places in our neighborhood, right? Using is there or are there. Okay, just remember, singular, 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 plural, uh, plural, plural, yes, right? Also, you can use on Main Street, right? This is Main Street, mire. Are there any restaurants on Main Street? Entonces, vengo yo y busco en el restaurant, right? Uh, do we have restaurants here on Main Street? Yes or no? Are there restaurants in the Main Street? In the, um, are there any any restaurants on Main Street? What is the answer? Yes, there is or no, there aren't? No, there aren't. No, there aren't. No, there aren't, right? Very good. So you, you see, this is Main Street and I don't see restaurants. I don't see restaurants, right? So the idea is that we can make up some questions about places in our neighborhood, right? Using are there or is there, yes? Si alguien tiene alguna pregunta o, o si alguien no entiende lo que estamos haciendo, please, solo dígame. Speak out, okay? Uh, so I can explain to you this thing one more time. Yes? Right? We are using prepositions as place as well to indicate. Yes? Um, uh, si alguien tiene alguna cuestión del vocabulary que está aquí también, me avisa. Let me know. Yes, so we can answer this one. Yes, vamos a escribir question where is, is there or are there? Yes, just don't forget with plural, we have plural, plural, plural. With is, that is singular, we're going to have singular, 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 right? Yes. And usually this call is a, a plaza. That's the way they call it, right? Very good, a plaza. How do you say arbusto in English? Mm -hmm. Any idea? Tree? Oh, no, tree is el árbol. Yes, tree uh -huh. is el árbol. Very good. Ah, uh -huh. Oh, very good. Acuérdese del president, right? Yes. Bush. Acuérdese del president. Yes. Bush. Yeah, acuérdese del president Bush. Yeah, so you can have it. Se escribe lo mismo, right? It's quite the same. So that's Bush. Very good. Okay, mm -hmm. so again, this is about uh, writing questions, right? This is a map, as you see, a simple map. And uh, like this is like a city, right? Places in a city where we have a bunch of places where we can go and we can, uh, I don't know, buy stuff or just um, stay there. Or maybe we can go in and have some food or meals. Yep. If you want to participate, just raise your hand so I can give you the chance to speak. Okay. If you want to participate with one question, just raise your hand. Tell me um, so I can hear. Okay, Juan Jose Garcia, go ahead. How many, ho how many hotels are on the map? Okay. ¿Cuántos hoteles hay en el mapa? Oh, yes, I understand the question. Very good. What is the answer to that question? In the maps are two hotels. Okay, very good. That is a good question. That is a good answer, right? También a esa answer, usted le puede agregar, there are two hotels. Yes? Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. There are two hotels. Uh, I think two, right? Yes. <laughs> I see one here and the other one is here. Yeah. 
Very good. Oh, Janessi, thank you. Go ahead. Um, is there any gas station on Main Street? Yes, oh. there is one next to public library. Public public library. Pub public library. Beautiful. Exactly. Very good. Okay. Very good. This is the simple way. Um and um ¿Por qué les digo que ocupen is there or are there? Porque es un poquito más dire directo, right? Um, porque, por ejemplo, cuando usted va a una ciudad, right? Por ejemplo, si usted va a San Miguel o a Chalate, right? Pues usted puede hacer estas questions. Ahora, um, Juan, usted la hizo with how many? Yes. Ahora, en el contexto, uh, uh, it is correct, it is correct, right? Uh, pero normalmente siempre ocupamos el uh, is there. Excuse me, is there a post office in this city? Excuse me, is there a hotel in this place? Uh, excuse me, are there, um, I don't know, gas stations in this city? Yes. Um, that's the, the, the simple way uh, that, that we that we ask about places okay i know i know the question is right how many uh, but usually uh, we don't we don't say that one yes i mean it is correct but we don't say that in english yes um okay marcos thank you okay are there are there any hotels in the second avenue on, in or on? On. Oh, very good, very good. Yes, on. The, on. on the second avenue. I oh, understood. very good, Marcos. Yes, on second, on second avenue. Very good. Ahí le puse el artículo, on the second avenue, ¿verdad? Yes. Entonces, el artículo ahí no lo necesita porque es Spanish interference, right? Spanish interference, eso ahí. Entonces, on the second avenue. Okay. okay. What is the answer, Marcos, to that question? No, there aren't, but are there any hotels in the Elm Street? Oh, but there are, there are, but there no, are there some, are. Okay. exactly, mm -hmm. but there are some but, uh, hotels on Elm Street. Eso, eso que dice usted, Marcos, is very good. Vamos a ocupar la preposición on siempre cuando esté a de calles, right? On First Street, okay. on oh. Main Street, on Second Avenue, on Pine Street, on Maple Avenue, and on Elm Street. Very good. And just be careful cuando sea plural, right? Just be careful cuando sea plural. Okay, la palabra son. Okay. Very good, Marcos. And um, sí lo felicito, right? Porque eh, aquí es donde practicamos esa cosa, right? Aquí es donde nos confundimos and we make mistakes and that is normal. Utilizó la palabra son. Eh, pero solo le falta el verbo to be, que es are, right? Yeah, but there are some on Elm Street. Very good. Great job. Claudia? Okay. Is there a bank on 2nd Avenue? No, there isn't. But there is one on 1st Avenue next to the grocery store. Beautiful. Okay. Perfect. Very good. Yes. Very good. Thank you so much. Um, Jacqueline, thank you. Go ahead. Is there an ATM nearby the hotel? And the answer is no, there isn't. But there is one on the First National Bank. Oh, that was very clever, right? That was very clever. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, so thank you so much, Jacqueline. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Um, Yes. Uh, this is one way that we can ask about is there a, a place, right, in your city or in your neighborhood? Okay. Ahora, también en English, a veces utilizamos la siguiente question, right? 
ok, cuando vamos a una city, por ejemplo, usted va a San Miguel, right, y utiliza where is the bank, ok, right, excuse me, dice usted, where is the bank, right, yes, eso es otra forma de preguntar dónde está un, un, un place, right, in, our, in a city, yes, y aquí usted puede ocupar las prepositions, y puede tú decir, oh, where is the bank? Oh, the First National Bank is on First Avenue next to Mars Grocery Store. Yes, entonces aquí yo lo voy cambiando, right? Where is the past office? Where is Bing's Cafe? Where is Hardy's Department Store? O si yo quiero decir, oh, where's the gas station? Where's the public library? Where is the hotel? Yeah. So this is another way that we can ask about a place in a city. And, right, esta persona, pues, es, esta es un poquito más easy, I guess, porque va directly, va directo, right? Y le dice, hey, where is the bank? Y la respuesta va a ser directa, right? It's on First Avenue, next to Mary's Grocery Store. Where is Mom's Pop's Grocery? Oh, it's on Second Avenue, next to Walker's Drugstore. Oh, where is Walker's Drugstore? Oh, it's between Mom's Pop's Grocery and the Steps Shoes. Con la palabra where. ¿Se acuerda que habíamos hablado para que ocupábamos where? Para places, right? Para places. Entonces, pues nos va a dar un location. Y estamos trabajando con las prepositions of place to indicate location. ¿Ok? Yes. Ahora, aquí sí es un poquito más simple. Como les digo, solo vamos con la preposition y el place. Y el verb to be. Right? Yes. Ahora, con este es un poquito um, más detallado porque nos dice, oh, is there a gene around here? Yes, there is one on, what is that, <laughs> on Main Street. ¿Qué más podemos decir para darle más información a la person? Next to the post office. Oh, next to the post office. Very good. ¿Cuál es otra preposition que puedo ocupar to be more, to be like, to give more details about where it's located? Between uh, post office and Hardy's department store. Perfect. Perfect. Exact. Very good. In front yes. of the park? Oh, in front of the plaza. I think this is a plaza. or, or, ah, or yes. Yeah. I think it is a plaza, right? Or maybe it is a park. Yeah. Who knows? Uh, who knows? Mm -hmm. So, puede ser que, like, here in San Salvador... Excuse me? Freddy? Uh, how do you say? Esquina opuesta? Oh, opposite. Oh, uh, opposite. opposite, right? Esquina? Opposite. Esquina dijimos que era on the corner of... Ah, on the corner. On the okay. corner of Perfect. First Avenue. On the corner of Main Street. On the corner okay. of Second Avenue. Yes, on entonces the corner, tenemos... Opposite gas station. <laughs> uh, en ese caso, let me see. Ah, the uh, on the corner of First Avenue... Mm. Yes, very good. Or on the corner of Main Street, opposite of gas station. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. Or across okay. from the gas station. The gas station. Exactly. Okay. Very good. Okay. So, es un poquito confused, right? So, you get sometimes confused on this one because tiene que ocupar la correct preposition y las main, las streets, right? Um, so, uh, my suggestion is practice with your con with your city, right? What are the places that you have around? Y pues pregúntese, oh, where is the bank? Or are there any restaurants on, like, on, I don't know, First Street, right? Or First Avenue. Here in El Salvador, creo que tenemos eso también, right? First Avenue, Main Street, um... Algunos names, for example, uh, Juan Pablo II Street, Masferrere Street, right? Roosevelt, creo que es another one, a street. 
uh, no sé, hay algunas calles que tienen proper names. Entonces, podemos decir el name y luego la palabra street. O a veces tenemos avenue, right? Sí. Um, Esas sí no me las puedo. Pero uh, siempre diga el name y luego la palabra avenue. Yes. Y vamos a utilizar on siempre con calles. Right? On main street, on second. Um, yes. And again, these are the places that we have in our city or in our neighborhood. These are the basic ones. Okay. Um, my suggestion again, practice um, a little by little at home. Yes. How do we say the places and how do we uh, communicate? Where are they and how do we can help the people to, to communicate where we can find these places? I think it's time to go to bed for you. Thank you so much for being here. Everybody, take care and see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for everything. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care.